block the centre. Oh, unusual bishop move, but I have seen that done all over the board as well. So it's not too strange. It's one of those types of moves that you think, oh, they don't know what they're doing, but there's, if it's done right, there's method in the madness. So we'll just continue doing what we would do normally. We want to look to get king safety. Don't go and challenge the bishop at this moment in time. All right, so the knight's come down a bit early, but let's attack it. And shall we castle now? Okay, so now it's making space for itself, so it's back to a normal position now. So glad we didn't spend any time trying to chase the bishop down, losing tempo, getting a bad position. So, yep, so this is all pretty normal, straightforward stuff. Just bring the bishop here, see what they want to do. Although I'm not going to take back with the bishop anyway, so probably just going to take with the pawn here. And that's an interesting situation because the pawn doesn't have any protection on it. So it kind of leaves us free to attack the bishop here. I've seen that done as well. Because it looks good, you know, you've got your pieces in the center and you think that it's supported and you're going to win some sort of um, fancy move order uh, position. So now the opponent's having to think and they've left the bishop unprotected so being a bit skeptical now we can take i don't really see that there's anything major there's no checks on my king my queen seems okay so i'm going to take the bishop for free it looks like so it's just, it looks like the snowball effect is getting a little bit bigger and bigger against the opponent um, just from that one pawn move there where it was unprotected I could see why they did it and then this bishop attack here now they're trying to improve their position with the queen I'm hoping they're finding a bad position and if we can maybe come back and attack the queen bishop takes, pawn takes I'd be fairly okay with that it's left a pawn here but that to me is like too much of a greedy munch so I'm actually just going to small piece attack a higher piece knight attacking the queen plus it's also giving my king a bit of company rather than jumping up here getting a pawn rook can just chase it down where is it going from there So the queen's moved. There is that, but then there is that. So I don't want to waste the move. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see anything else. We're a bit tidy, aren't we? Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Pawn attacking the knight. Be nice to get this rook here just behind the rook is the queen which is then obviously on the king if they don't go on castle i think the knight will attack the um oops the knight will attack the knight the knight hasn't attacked the knight pawn could attack the pawn again just going to bring the rook through here if it, if it does all kick off and we quickly move our pieces we get their queen so they've taken I'm hoping we can bring the bishop here still looking for the x-ray through to their king
we did say if it does all kick off, there is that potential for that kind of threat. Doesn't look like we're going to get it because now they've paused, they're thinking about it. Is it too late to the party for them? Maybe not. Okay, so the smaller piece is going to be taking the higher piece. Do I have any checks on this king? Not really. So I was going to take bishop. Would have been nice if I had something supporting the rook when the pawn takes here. So they've moved there. I'm going to take the pawn. I think they could have taken the pawn actually because I didn't have anything else supporting the rook, so the rook wasn't going to be able to take back. So I'm going to have to move my queen out of the way because he's got his rook now powering down. And his king's on a dark square. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go here just to protect the pawn as well. Now, this is a juicy one, isn't it? I, I quite like this one. We're actually plus five. I'm just looking down then. I'm like, one, two. Yeah, we've got a minor piece up. Yeah. But it does feel like they've got a better position. Strange as it may seem. I think it's because he's got his knights. His knights are keeping his king company, so that looks fairly good for them. We've got ours, but our bishops look a little bit jammed in at the minute. There's potential for coming here, x ray through. That type of thing. Poor dark square bishops not in the game. But I suppose it did its job, it gave us this, um, ooh, see that would have been nice, it's almost like he read my mind, but he's actually coming down for the queen. So I'm going to take, it develops his rook, then we can x-ray through to the queen, all the way through, so the bishop is going to be fairly strong. Oh, the queen's gone. Does that make any difference, same thing? I thought the rook was going to come down. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. Not to forget I've got a dark square bishop. Can't really see that dark square bishop on the green. But... Obviously there's the pawn. Don't forget we have the bishop. But he's got a 2 on one you see with the knight. This was what I meant by their position looks a little bit better than I was. And so, they seem to have a bit more attack. Ooh, so if we go for the pawn here, his rook's going to come down maybe and attack our queen. So if we go here and attack his queen. And if he doesn't exchange, we can hit the king. Let's go with that. I would say, play these anonymous guest type things. You don't know who you're playing. You don't know the, the level. So it's, that's what makes it really interesting for me. Each stage you're constantly saying to yourself, whoa, Cracky, what do I need to do to improve my position? I can't use a set play type thing. I'm, I've got to just keep on using my own thought process. What's this? So we could do a on pass on thing. Or we could just touch onto his king. Does that give us any bit? We've got his rook. 
So we could save that and just take his rook off the ball because it's a higher piece. Our rook's defending this, our queen here, so we don't need to rush to do anything. So he has taken. So now we can take or we can go with the check on the king. I don't think that's going to give me much though, that check on the king. Goes here, then he can just go back here. What's it giving me? You, know, you want to see a continuation. I think I'm just going to take. And then come back and save the pawn for a brief moment. Also attacking this pawn. It's going to go well. Nothing can protect it. So if I take. Ooh, it's not doing any of that. Like owning the files though, his rook's going to end up owning the file. If we don't, let's do this first. This knight comes here, is protecting the square, gives us a chance to come here. So it gives us a chance to take the pawn off the board. Let's do that. Let's not forget we've got a dark square bishop. So we'll get that in the game as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's put a check on the king. Where can he go? We go and attack him. Let's attack. He's reducing down, so we can take and we'll get even more pieces off the board. Let's go check on. Let's take. Let's get the bishop in. Oh, excuse me. So this has been a very interesting game. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. I think we talked through all the moves that we made. Now it's time just to polish it up a bit. Let's go here. Bishop's holding here, the rook's blocking the king. King can't come any further now, so we can just simply push this pawn up. And it's got space to move. Just not towards this pawn. Oh, nice touch. Nice touch. See how he was waiting for that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's go.
او على الفساد